Seth Rollins news. Uh, Becky Lynch was uh, I don't even know where Becky Lynch was, but she's she, in um, um, U- UK, I believe. Um, but they're she's, in, they're, she's in L- they're in London today, I believe. So she said he had knee surgery to repair a torn meniscus. Seth Rollins, right? So he'll probably be out for a couple months um, with that surgery. Um, you know, I don't think it's a. I'll find out. I'm going to ask around if it was reconstruct. You know, reconstruction. You're talking about eight months, six months, mm-hmm. eight months. I don't think it was that. I know when I had asked, it was, you know, one of those things where it's not going to be that long. And I had the impression it was going to be minor surgery, which could be two months or, or three months or, or, you know, even less sometimes. Um, you know, I mean, people, you know, insane people. I mean, you know, football players who came back a week after that, you know, it's completely insane, but it has happened. And um, Butch Reed, I remember when Butch Reed worked for Mid-South, he had, he had um, you know, surgery for that exact same injury. And I think he was back in like eight days. Oh God! Yeah, it's probably where you get. And the surgery wasn't the same as it is today back then. Yeah. Well, it was still by then. It was already. Um, it was. It was already not that bad. You know, it wasn't like in the seventies where it would have been. You couldn't have done it. But yeah. But um, yeah, that's also where you get your addictions to painkillers from. Gosh. Yeah. Uh, so the Vince story. The only real question I had for you, based on your Vince story, about whether or not he. Uh, he could come back to wrestling or create a new company out of wrestling. And this actually, most of this story was up in the subscriber section of the, of the website right, what, days several earlier. days ago. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I figured I, I was, I figured I was done with it so I could put it up. And then of course, as will always be the case, whenever I do stories like this, cause I did the same thing with the, um, the uh, Marigold story mm-hmm. is that, you know, as the days go by, more things happen and add. So that's one of the reasons I'm reluctant to put these stories up because, you know, I mean, in the, in the race to be first, yeah, I could do it, but I, I like to do the complete story and the complete stories in most cases in stories like this are going to, you know, things are going to come out every day, you know, that are new. And I'd rather just wait till the end of the week and kind of look back. But, you know, I mean, there will be many examples of this that we will do this to and you know, like this and then you'll have the observer come out and it'll be a similar story but there'll be a lot more details when the story is in the observer yeah i actually like that idea having the story at least you know you may not have the full fleshed story that you'll have in the observer but there's enough information in there to where you know it is more than w- what we're going to get anywhere else on on stuff like this so you know you're just sort of updating yourself in that way um, and I, I actually like having that information out early and then you get the fully fleshed version of it in, in, in the observer. I, I, I don't mind it at all doing it that, that you do it that way. But yeah. my so my question was. Is, um, you know, we just talked about who would want to bid on AEW and are there companies out there who would just look at AEW and go, no, thanks, because they are not wwe even if like you said they would really want those numbers i think only maybe fox i can't see anybody because does you know what i mean i I don't see anybody else that would go with that i mean usa i mean like you know usa network but they still have wwe i mean um like fox i could see because with fox it becomes a um it's it's if you're a programmer and you make that call and they do lower numbers than WWE, which they will do, you're asking for all kinds of trouble because they're gonna go like you made the choice to drop, you know, even if it's a, a a financially much better package for Fox, let's say. And Fox isn't gonna do it. I think Fox wants sports on Friday night anyway, not not wrestling. But but let's just say that you know you're with Fox and you go, you know, WWE wanted um was it 280 million a year. We didn't want to pay it. We were losing money on the deal. Um, and we could get, let's say we could get AEW for a hundred million, which they could get AEW uh, for a hundred million for one show easily, a two hour show, a hundred million a year. They could get it. Um, but you know, you go in there instead of doing a point six on a Friday night, maybe you do a point two or a point three you know point two five point three oh maybe lower maybe a little higher even if you're doing a point four which is a fan which would be a fantastic number and win friday almost every week um there'll be people going like you dumped wwe and now you're you know 33 percent or 40 percent or 50 percent down what nobody wants to be that fool 
So that's why I would say for Fox, even though they could probably be from a profit loss standpoint, they would probably be better off with that. I cannot imagine them, anyone there having the balls to try to make that move where, you know, you know, this isn't a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, um, you know, when, when they were stronger and when they were hotter, I think that they could have gone and done similar numbers um, on Fox on Friday night and everything like that. I think they could have, but that is not the time now. And at that point, you know, you go in there and go like, oh, we're maybe we're down 10%, but we're paying one third of what we paid. You know, you can go in there and go, hey, look, we can justify that. But when it's down, you know, half, let's say, which mm-hmm. is probably what it would be. And, you know, even if you're paying, you know, a third um, of what you would have to pay, you're going to look like you're a failure. So nobody wants to look like a failure. But aside from that, I mean, you know, I don't see, like I said, I don't see any network. Um, I mean, it'd be fantastic if somebody did, but I don't, I could see WWE on a network. Like I could see WWE, you know, WWE's going to, on their deal, they are going to have NBC specials, you know, I mean, a couple of year. I mean, yeah, what is that? Year. What is that going to mean though? Not when you have the kind of TV we have now, like the whole thing with, um, it's the same reason, like, you know, these, these battle of the belts, you know, that, that AEW does. It's just like, to me, it's like a complete waste. It's just a waste because it's like you have worse matches on the Battle of the Belt special than you have on Dynamite every single week. Yeah. So this for these specials to work, it has to be way better than TV. And once, like when TV is all squashes and then four times a year we have these like house show caliber shows or mini pay-per-views, that's a big deal. It's like a big deal show. When we have mini pay-per-view shows every Wednesday night, and then we're going to do a show on uh, Saturday night at 10 p.m. for an hour. And it's much weaker than the from 8 to 10. It's like, even though they held up well and the number wasn't bad at all on fr- this this past Saturday night, it's just like, it's not, um, you know, I don't, I don't I don't see really the need for those extra hours. They already got enough hours of TV. so And they got eight hours of television on Saturday and Sunday. In what sense? Well, you got three hours of collision and rampage, and then the five hour pay per view. That's a lot. Oh, this of- this coming week. This coming. Yeah. Week. Yeah. 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 Three hours. Well, there's nothing on Friday, but yeah, yeah. There's three hours on Saturday and five hours on on Sunday this week. Yeah. Yeah. And and the three hours on Saturday is actually pretty loaded, even though yeah. it's all there to build Sunday. It's 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 more loaded than than um, a night before. Um, I'm surprised how loaded they they made it, especially partially. Because you're putting these matches on that these guys are going to get excited doing, you know, like the six man tag with um, FTR and um, Pack against the Young Bucks and Okada, which is a freaking loaded match. And then you got the, um, you know, the Danielson tag and everything. And, um, you know, you look at that and, and it's like, you know, the last thing you want is these guys banged up going into a pay per view, um, you know, where, where the, you know, again, like, Danielson and Okada and um, um, Will, the the expectations are so ridiculously high that the last thing you want to do is is risk a guy getting banged up the night before. And the latter matches, look, you got you got guys that are, you know, their reps are are of, of being great wrestlers, um, and the mentality of a ladder match that's a tough ass match to do. You know, you could give them a day off. Mm-hmm. But, but the day, the day. I mean, it's it's just it's not even give them the day off. I mean, you could you could give them, you know, like a match that that's not gonna like have the, you know, what I mean, a match that's, that that where where people aren't gonna expect a great match on Saturday night, where you can just have a normal match on Saturday and then have the killer match on Sunday. Like they're going in there with matches that, you know, people are gonna expect killer match on Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um. So it does look like based off of Rock social media or whatever. Uh, whomever's talking about it that rock and, and and cody that's kind of what they're teasing for wrestlemania next year right i mean that was the plan you know i mean there's a million things that can change in a year but it's absolutely the plan yeah yeah what do you what do you think about them playing with the date for wrestlemania you mean moving it up a week or two mm-hmm. um i also saw someone say that they thought that may was even possible i i i don't know i have not heard that I've heard I mean, I, I understand the idea I've, of wanting I've, to own I've the heard. weekend for sure. I yeah, get that. Yeah. But, you know, it's funny because they actually, it's, it's like if they had had one of those years where it wasn't a great 
WrestleMania and you're looking for an excuse and you go, oh, we were the same weekend as the Final Four. But they actually had their biggest in ever against the Final Four. So it's like WrestleMania is such a big thing that, that yeah, would, you know, that Raw did whatever it was, 2.3 plus million viewers and 0. Point, I forgot what it was, 0. Point, is it is in the 0.8 something or whatever? Um, the, you know, it's like, yeah, it would have done bigger without that championship game head to head for sure. It would have done bigger, but it did pretty freaking big anyway. It's not like anything I would worry about. And, you know, it's like sometimes like the competition is real and it means something. Um, but, you know, you're, I don't know. I How don't, much of it is wanting to host? all of the executives and all of the people who you work with uh, at WrestleMania and having that, that be sort of like, you know, your, your opportunity to, to do, you know, to bring people in to, to you know, right, do all right. these crazy and, and, deals. And, and, and all, and all the, and all the key sports people are not going to be there that week. Yeah. If, if they're going to be at the final four yeah. uh, men's and women's possibly, then you have, you know, the masters was last weekend. Yeah. Um. You know. So that whole thing. So I can understand why you would want to move it away from I, I, big I, sports I, stuff. I, I. I. I can, and obviously you don't want it on Easter weekend too. Um. But yeah, I. Um. I understand, especially you know, with with Nick and not Vince in charge. You know, with Vince, it's, you know, it's just not as big a deal. With Nick is the, the big world picture guy. So with Nick, you know, it's like, why are we going against the Final Four? You know, I mean, there's so many weekends of the year. Why don't we, you know, and I could see him going with, with that. I mean, that's his mentality, obviously. Um, it makes sense, but yeah, you can, yeah, you, you want to, you know, and again, like, like the, the sports coverage, the ESPN coverage, yes, they will cover you, but on a final four weekend, you're certainly not going to be anything near the biggest thing that weekend. If you're on a slow sports weekend, you know, and there's nothing going on and ESPN has got nothing big. Um, you can get a lot more coverage. You can get a lot more of your guys on the shows and in doing so, you know, WrestleMania week is when you really build the, the brand, um, every year, you know, so, so it, it really does make sense when you think about the big picture part of it. It's not a necessity, but it does make sense. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.